Hey y'all, uh, so today I have another craft for you. Now I know I have been doing a lot of crafts lately, but that is because I am trying to get my uh, craft room organized and that is my priority so as I'm working on things I just share them with you guys uh, but another way that I can store uh, small components and I'm going to be working on earrings very soon and I've already started buying earring supplies and I'm realizing I need a place to put all the little pieces to make earrings so um, I got these little cabinets I got them at um where did I get them? I got them at Lowe's. And uh, yeah, they're cute just like this. But you know, I cannot leave things in this black color right here because I liked for them to pop with a lot of bright color. So um, I'm going to be spray painting these. This one is going to get sprayed, or one of them is going to get sprayed this gloss gumdrop. Don't you love the name of that paint? <laughs> gloss gumdrop and this one's just going to be gloss purple but anyway so pretty and the reason i chose purple is because i think it pops against this green color see this purple here how it's kind of popping i love how it pops also i bought this uh, little uh, sample book of just oops i can't even get it apart here of these little colored cards now i love these because um they've got a little bit of glitter on them i'm gonna have to cut that apart but they're gonna be so cute i'm going to be uh fronting the face of the um drawer with them and then we'll figure out a way that i'll know what's in there without pulling every drawer out to figure out what's in it but i saw a friend of mine had done these up now she did not spray paint hers <laughs> she left hers this black color which is fine because that worked for her but not for me but anyway um and she but she did have these uh not these particular ones but she did have some little cards in front of the drawers to make them look pretty and she said she saw it on pinterest so yeah that's that's where she saw it and i saw it from her but anyway <laughs> i'm gonna go ahead and go outside and um paint these up I'm not going to take my camera out today because it's kind of uh, damp. It's not really raining, but it is damp. Don't want my camera out there. So anyway, I'm going to go out and get these all painted up, and then I'll bring them back in, and we'll get all the little drawers prettied up, and I'll have another way to store little bitty craft supplies. <laughs> Okay, so I got these painted and they're nice and dry, ready to start our next step. Uh, but I just love this gloss gumdrop, this light purple color. I think it turned out oh so amazing. And even the uh, gloss purple. Now, I was not uh, quite sure about this darker color, but after it dried, I love this dark purple. I think it's so beautiful. Uh, now the next thing that we're going to do is go ahead and um, take all of our little plastic containers here. And I have the two sizes, remember. And we're going to go ahead and uh, take uh, some of this paper. This is it's really kind of thick. It's almost like cardstock. Um, but I did get this at Hobby Lobby. And um, I got it half price. So I always try to get something at Hobby Lobby when it's, um, you know, 50% off, 40% off, you know, and you also have that coupon that you can use 40% off. So that's when I try to buy all of my paper. Uh, but anyway, I'm going to go ahead and get these attached. Now, you can do this either way that you like. You can put it on the outside of the little canister like that or you can slide it down on the inside and I think I'm going to slide mine down on the inside because I'm afraid they'll fall off out here but anyway uh, I'm going to try that and then if I don't like it I can always change it up after I try one and see which way I like it I can uh, try one on the outside one on the inside see which one I like the best uh, but you, what you're going to do is just take your ruler measure how long you need it how um, tall you need it the width and the height and then cut that out and put it on now you can put this on you can put it on with um, Mod Podge you can put it on with glue you can put it on with double-sided tape uh, whatever works best for you but I'm going to do one on the inside and one on the outside see which one I like better okay so um, here's one that has the little paper on the inside and here's one that has the paper on the outside now I've gone ahead and decided to go ahead and put the paper on the inside even though you can see it better when it's on the outside um, but it's just going to work so much better because I don't have to worry about it um, you know coming off and everything like that so I've taped this one on the inside and it's going to be very very pretty as you can see oh my goodness they're so adorable so I'm gonna go ahead and get all of the little drawers um, with the papers on the inside using double-sided tape. So let me go ahead and get all of those done and we'll get them all put here in uh, this little cabinet. It's gonna look oh so cute. 
So on this first one, I do have nine drawers that I'm going to be covering. And these are the ones that I have chosen to cover all nine of those drawers. And I just love all of these colors together. It's going to be so pretty. Okay, so I'm just taking my tape. Going to measure out how much I need. And we're going to go ahead and put the tape. Oops, there's a little piece. Put the tape right on the paper at the top and the bottom because I want it to stay in place. There we go. And we're just going to take it, slide it right down in there, make sure it's in a position really well. And just press that into, into the place. And there we go. Oh, so cute. And you can't even see that tape. So go ahead and add this one here into place and we'll go ahead and see there it is go ahead and do all of the rest of these okay there we go isn't that oh so cute now I get to do all of these little ones and that's gonna take a while. Okay, y'all, so I'm all finished. They turned out so very adorable, so very happy with them. Hope this gives you guys some ideas on how to decorate your very own storage bins. I appreciate y'all watching. I'll see you again next time. Bye now.